channel um i mean it's probably not morning where you are as i say every week but it's morning for me um so good morning i am just about to head into the gym it's friday today and we're gonna do a couple couple days in life um i'm traveling home to see my mum for a late mother's day we're taking her out for like a late mother's day thing tonight and we're doing like games and i think like like we're doing like no ice not sure stay tuned for that we're doing a few random things um and we're gonna get some food and i'm leaving the dog on her own well just for a couple hours and then cal will be home from work but i'm not taking it because cal's working today and cal's working tomorrow so cal can't come um and i don't want to leave the dog in the house that my mum's on her own on her own tonight um because she doesn't go there that often um so i don't think she'd really love it being there on her own so the dog is staying and we are going to be separated. Um, also, just about to do my pre-workout, but random playlist, you know on Spotify when they give you like random radio stations to listen to like, and like recently, not recently, like daily mixes. Hannah Montana just popped up on mine. I was thinking, babes, this is so relevant. Like, when was the last time I listened to Hannah Montana? And then I had a great time. Like, Hannah Montana was quite literally my entire childhood. So, that was fun. Um, but I'm going to drink my pre-workout. Oh, to fill you in on the pre-workout situation, because I feel like last time we spoke, I was raving about the ghost pre-workout. But for the price that it is and for the actual pre-workoutness of the pre-workout, like what it actually does. I, I was like, maybe there is better, maybe I should keep looking. Because it tastes, I don't think I'll ever find one that tastes that nice again. But there are pre-workouts that can give you more. <laughs> so this is my current favorite. I mean, bear in mind, it's the only one I've tried after. Um, the ghost one, but it's the only one that I've tried for a very long time other than the ghost one that I've actually liked like yeah, I'm talking like years um, And this is the prolific sour peach candy now if you're in the UK You have to get it off dolphin fitness or ni supplements, but dolphin fitness have more flavors um, So this is sour peach candy flavor. It tastes really good. It tastes really good. Actually. I do two scoops um, because one the same is one to two scoops and i'm just like a two scoop girl um and i also have creatine in here as well but it has a really good pump and like so like when you're in the gym training and the blood flows to your muscles this kind of like enhances that so your muscles are like more pumped you know popping um and it gives you really good focus so if you struggle with like getting in the zone this will help with that um, this is not sponsored by the way i am just a big fan i'm a big fan um and this week i've had the best workouts that i've had in like ever using this 
Um, I've also got a new program, so that helps. And I've also been really like trying to not film as much and just get in the zone. Cause I feel like filming does get me out of the zone a little bit. And I think I was filming a lot and I'm back at my old gym now rather than the gym that we were at last time, because it's just more my vibe. I mean, I'm not really allowed to film in here, but I kind of do anyway. Um, because I've been coming here that long. I don't think they're going to kick me out. But, mm. So I just film on my phones so instead of taking like my whole camera in. Um, but we're going to do a posterior chain workout today. Um, and I've not done this one yet, but I think it's going to be really good. So we've got RDLs, we've got higher and narrow glute focused leg press, which I absolutely love. Um, I've got hyper extensions, bent over rows and a, well, a T-bar bent over row and a parallel grip lat pull down, which again, absolute vapes like we are just slamming out the vapes here so this is my last workout of the week because my week starts on like a sunday um so this is the last workout of the week and then on sunday i have legs and half an hour cardio to do because i would normally do cardio on a rest day but i haven't done it yet and i can't do it tomorrow because i'm going to be at home and i'm going to go meet my friend um for breakfast because she has just found out that she's expected a baby so i want to go see her and give her presents and things like that um so that's the plan for the weekend then we'll be coming back and i'm just gonna take you through my weekend so let's go get a workout in So she's having a baby um, and I got them from this place called Belta, Belta Bakes which is obviously like a jolly saying um, it's about 20 minutes from where I live but how freaking cute I'm not gonna open the box should I open the box mm, is this gonna be a bad idea oh my god look at those they look so cute so I got these just as like a little celebration um, to take I don't know. I just thought they would be cute. Um, and then they say the baby's name. How precious. Um, and then it was also her birthday. So she is having a lot of surprises. I, feel like I can't get this closed. There. Um, it was also her birthday. So I got her some really cute pajamas. She says that all her clothes are starting to not fit anymore. Um, so I got these really cute long sleeved green little pajamas from Bow Avenue. Um, let me show, I'll just take them out and show you the top. Um, how cute is that? Little long sleeve top. She says her clothes aren't start, <laughs> starting to not fit anymore now she's pregnant. So I got a size up um, because I feel like you need to size up in pajamas anyway to make them comfortable. But aren't they cute? And I feel like she's going to have a great time. Like this is, <laughs> someone get me cakes and pajamas because that is just my ideal time of life. Guys, why do I quite literally look like what is this hair colour? I know I talk about this every week, but what is going on with this hair? I get it done in two weeks and I quite literally cannot wait to not be dark and whatever colour this is, because it's definitely not just dark anymore, it's kind of like tinted red. <sighs> anyway, 
Um, I'm just packing to go down to my mum's for the weekend. So I thought I'd show you what I'm packing. I'm thinking, because I've still got quite a lot of work left to do today, I'm just going to go bare-faced and maybe just put the curls in my hair. And then when I get there, I'm going to do my makeup. Because I also feel like my mascara just quite literally dribbles down my face. So I don't want to have it on all day and then go out tonight. So I'm going to do my makeup when I get there. But I'll just quickly show you what I'm packing. I'm going to wear this cream corset. It is from is it Mercy or Murky. Not really sure which one. Um, but it's quite a casual place. So I think I'm going to pair it with these oversized jeans from ASOS. They're like black baggy jeans. Um, and I still want to look somewhat nice. Like I don't want to just go in like, I don't know, anything. Um, so I think I'm going to wear the cream top and I think because he said it's quite casual, I'm debating just doing a trainer, these New Balances, um, uh, because they've got like the same colour cream in them. So I'm thinking cream New Balance, yeah, and then maybe just a leather jacket. I feel like that would work well. Leather jacket, trainers, jeans, crop. Not going to try it on. Don't have time for that. But this is what I'm going to wear for tonight. And then for tomorrow for brunch, I have these. It's just a casual brunch. It's not like a drinky brunch. Um, I have these blue jeans, which are just from Zara. Um, and they've got like a little flared leg. And they look nice with my Uggs. So I think I'm going to wear the blue jeans for tomorrow and maybe just wear like a black bodysuit with that um do i have a cream top i do have a cream top i don't have a cream bra to go underneath it and i definitely need a cream bra for a t-shirt like that so i think it might have to be black or oh, green i have this green one i have this green bodysuit from zara as well which i could wear does green go with my red uggs though yeah, I'm gonna wear this. So that's what I'm packing for tomorrow. Very light, I'm a light packer. And then I'm literally just gonna pack my makeup as well. This is my absolute favorite perfume. I can't even remember what it's called now. Um, but it is, it's Estee Lauder. Whatever this one is. This is my absolute fave perfume for an evening. So I might take that. I don't know. I need to get moving though. I don't have time to, to do this all day. So I'm gonna, I feel like I need to do some of my hair. I'm just about to set off. <laughs> I need to pack up my snacks. I feel like a crazy beverage lady. Um, water, well, squash, of course. And then I've got this pink monster, which absolutely delicious. And then this, this is for tomorrow. This is for the way back because I'm going for breakfast. So I will have just had a coffee, but I like a car drink, you know? <coughs> And then I have some protein bars, one for today, one for tomorrow. Um, this is the white chocolate peanut and caramel from Fulfill. And this is my absolute, ride or die, absolute favourite at the minute and maybe ever, absolutely love it. And then a salted caramel, just a chocolate salted caramel as well. I don't want to eat all these ones at once and only have these ones left. These are great, they're fantastic, but these are just insane. So we're going to pack up and we're going to get on the road. just stop for a little bit of a road trip snack i got a you know what i'm a starbucks girl can't pretend but i got a sugar-free vanilla skim milk latte that was such a bad way to say it i got an ice latte with skim milk and sugar-free vanilla two pumps because they do four if you just ask for sugar-free vanilla they give you four it's too much for me it is too much for me um and i also have my protein bar i'm absolutely starving i've been stuck in traffic it's about quarter past four i'm about an hour away from home now um and i'm gonna be late <laughs> I, well not late but i need time to get ready you know um and here i am sat chatting how pleasing does that look though that does to be fair that looks that looks good that looks pretty pleasing but I hate these cups because the this bit here, like where the straw grows through, like snaps the straw and it really winds me up. It really winds me up. 
okay, you know what? That's a good coffee. If you're going to go get a Costa, skim milk, iced latte, I mean, you can get normal milk, normal milk, whatever milk you like. I, I like, I like green milk, but your girl's dieting. So, skim milk, two pumps sugar free vanilla. Always iced, even if it's like five degrees. Also, been having, I did start off with a podcast, but there's only so much podcasting a girl can take on a journey, and I've been driving for about two hours now. So, I did. Um, switch to Taylor Swift and I've been listening to this one the this is Taylor Swift playlist and it has every song she's like pretty much every song she's ever written and I put it on shuffle and I just listen to them all um would I have to pick one favorite song if I love Taylor Swift I love Taylor Swift and if I could pick one if I had to pick one song it would be our song you know it's like our song is some screen door it would be that one that if I had to pick one it would be that but i am a, a big fan of i'm not the biggest fan of the albums um what are they called what are the albums that she does i feel like we have to get in depth conversation with this now um i'm not the biggest fearless fearless is a great oh would i pick fearless is my favorite song maybe fearless great album um red i absolutely love evermore and folklore they're not me they're not me i hate to say it um i don't really listen to those ones lover i like i don't i don't know every single song on it but i like lover i like a few songs off there i like reputation 1989 love it i'm like a pop speak now love it i'm like country pop taylor swift and i like a bit of the reputation stuff as well um but there is a, the, the folklore and um evermore not really for me um but anyway i need to get a move on i'm gonna eat my protein bar on the way and we are gonna get off going i should be there in about an hour and then i need to rush get ready and um i don't know when i'll next speak to you but i need to hurry the heck up do you want to make an appearance in my vlog mum of course <laughs> <laughs> this is angela <laughs> it's a video <laughs> hello <laughs> we're going ice curling and we're also going she's looking at me like what the heck are you doing crazy girl golf. not crazy golf crazy pool um, and then for pizza. Look how cute I was. What a little muffin. Look at that hair. Why, mum? Why did you, Why did you let me have a mushroom head haircut? You was gorgeous. <laughs> this was me. How old was I? I'm thinking three ish. Three. God, I was cute. There's some more over here. These are the These are the golden ones. This I was having a tantrum. Having a tantrum. Which one's my other favourite? None of these. This is me and mum dressed as Indian. Indian squaws. In Indian squaws. Is that what it's called? Mm. Cute. Very cute. Hand sewed <laughs> by Angela herself. <laughs> She's also got the deeds. Apparently they had to share for me and Callum, but I know that this one's for me. And this little one's for Callum. Don't say kiwi. And kiwi. <laughs> this is kiwi's Easter egg. so it's now the next day um and i just got a nip into aldi but i'm gonna go meet my friend for brunch you know what last night was so fun we ended up um going we played pool we did like this basketball thing did i take a video of that maybe i can't remember um but we did this basketball thing um and it was really fun like that place is great there's not one near me like that but i have been to one before um and we got pizza which was delicious um and now i'm gonna do pizza then go and get some more food i'm so hungry it's like quarter to 11 right now um and i've not eaten anything yet because i was like saving myself for breakfast um and i think i've been here millions of times before and i absolutely love it um but i just wanted to quickly touch on and like talk about a little bit like eating out because obviously 
eating out last night, eating out now, and also while dieting. And I know a lot of people really, really struggle with that. Um, but essentially, all I'm doing is guesstimating these meals and tracking them into my day. So what I'll do is plan the meal in first. So I looked at the menu for last night before we went and picked what I was going to have and then track that into my macros and then plan the rest of my day around that meal. And that's what I've done today as well. So with today being early, I planned the rest of my day's food. So I planned some lunch, a snack and uh, my dinner for tonight and looked and so, so like what calories I left, had left over for this morning. My camera's wobbling because it's just resting on my um, dashboard. Um, but I looked at what calories I'd had left over for this morning and tracked the meal, looked at the menu, picked something that I would have wanted and tracked it into that. And if it didn't fit, I would have then maybe adjusted the rest of my day. But it's brunch, so I've gone for, I'm going to get like poached eggs, I think, with bacon um, and avocado and then have a tea um, because I probably want to get a coffee on the way back, on the drive back later. Um, but that's all I do. And to be honest, I find it quite easy to push meals around like yes I'm hungry right now I'm hungry I'm gonna be hungry because I'm it's quarter to 11 and I've not eaten yet um so I am more hungry now than I would usually be but it doesn't mean that I'm gonna die you know I can still like wait another half an hour 45 minutes to eat and I'm gonna be okay like if I think a lot of the thing with dieting especially people think if they're hungry they need to eat immediately and I feel like that's what a lot of people struggle with but it's not necessarily the case like you, you're not supposed to be so hungry that you're going to eat your arm off. Obviously, if you're having 1,200 calories a day, not enough. Like, babes, we need more than that, you know? Um, but you're going to be a little bit hungry. You're in a deficit. Volumize your food as much as you can. The rest of my day looks pretty normal um, in terms of food we're having for heaters tonight. Um, and then for, it's kind of a bit of a weird time to eat this morning. So I've just got some protein yogurt with fruit and granola for like an afternoon snack. To put me on like a big like a bowl a big bowl of food um but generally it's just about planning pre-planning i i've been here before i know what the food looks like i already knew what i wanted i probably would have got the same thing whether i was tracking or not if i wasn't on a diet right now if i wasn't trying to lose body fat I wouldn't track any of this. I wouldn't worry about any of this. I, wouldn't, I would just have, go and have what I want to have. And the rest of the day would look exactly the same as it normally does. Um, so say, for example, yesterday, my my day would have looked very, very similar. It probably would have just been a little bit more filled out. Um, and then, obviously, I'm trying to track in protein where I can. Still getting my protein goal right now. And on a normal day, I would just opt for high-protein meals around that. So say, for example, if I'm going out for dinner, not tracking, not think about anything um i will try and have something for breakfast and lunch that has protein in it so that i know that i'm pretty close to my protein goal anyway and i will also opt for say for example making sure i'm getting my five a day or at least a couple of fruits and veggies in in the day prior so i don't worry about calories and stuff like that when i'm not dieting but because i am dieting i'm planning things in tracking things in and just making sure that it fits um because you can go and do what you want to do and to be honest like obviously if you're going on a night out and get absolutely blackout drinking loads every weekend you're not going to be able to track that in like realistically without missing out on a lot of food calories and sacrificing calories for alcohol comes with a lot um of kind of detriment to your training to your well-being to your sleep like there's there's a lot to go into that i don't want to go into now because i'm going to be late of course as always um but essentially if you want to go out and eat, have a couple, like, you know, a couple of drinks. I could have had a couple of drinks last night. I could have tracked it in, but I chose to go home and have some of my mum's. So she got a cookie, like a big, one of the Millie's big cookies. Um, and she cut it all up into little pieces because she's trying to lose some weight as well. Um, so she cut it all up into little portion sizes. And I could have had, like, maybe two gin and some light tonics last night as well. Um, but I chose a cookie because I would always choose a cookie. And yes, you know what? In an, in a, in an ideal world, it would have been great to have both. I would have loved to have the cookie and the gins. But when you're trying to make ends meet that's all we're doing with dieting is making ends meet and i had to make that decision which one do i want the most i want the cookie more than the gins and i'm going out next weekend for drinks so i can have drinks next weekend like you know i think a lot of people really get into their head about the choices that they're making the decisions that they're making but at the end of the day you are doing this for you no one is forcing you to do it no one is forcing you to make these decisions and if you don't want to make the change to your physical appearance to your physique you don't have to you and that's not me saying like oh you don't have to do it if you don't want to like guilt tripping that's me generally saying like if you don't want to be on a diet you don't have to 
but you want to make this change so make the change get it done get it over with and then we can go back to normal life you know that's my mindset the more concrete i am every day whilst i'm doing this the quicker i can stop and the quicker i can go back to normal life and go out for drinks and not track it and not think about it not worry about it you know positive vibes only the diet is not no one's forcing you to diet you are choosing to do it so we are going i need to go i need to go into aldi sorry if that was really annoying by the way with the camera like wobbling like this the entire time because i don't have a camera stand in my car also i've come fully prepared for the journey home with another protein bar food was so good so delicious um i'm at home now obviously and i just wanted to show you first off reunited with my little baby girl reunited with my little baby girl hi she's been at her grandma's haven't you oh my god you're so precious also now i have these easter eggs from <laughs> my mum look how many easter eggs we have so <laughs> we have a white chocolate lint one which is technically mine um then we have the Kit Kat, which is caramel cookie, Rolo, and then we have the Chunky Dairy Milk and the Chunky Dime. Like one, delicious, but two, this is just a lot of Easter eggs, you know? I'm excited. I might make like a Easter egg, what are they called? They're like Easter egg cheesecakes. I don't even like cheesecake that much though. If I was going to pick a cheesecake, I wouldn't pick this. I wouldn't pick a chocolate one. I would pick like a fruity cheesecake. Um, also, my friend, um, let me move the cotton flies this out of the way. My friend gave us some of her cakes to bring back. Oh, no one's fell over. Oh. Yeah, she gave us two cakes to bring back, one for me and one for Calum. She was like, I can't let you leave without one. Um, so I have a little cake for dessert tonight. And honestly, I feel like the rest of the day is just going to be... I'm going to unpack. I need to get myself out on a walk. I feel like I've been sat down driving for so long and my body just needs to, to walk and to move. So I'm going to unpack, take the dog out maybe if she is not too tired because she's been at Calm's mum's with Calm's nephew and they play a lot. They get crazy together, the dog and, the, and his nephew. They run around the garden and stuff. So she's normally quite tired when she comes back. Um... But I think I'm gonna, I feel like I need a nap, to be honest. Cam's back from work a little bit later and then we're just gonna have like a chilled Saturday evening in front of the TV. I think we might watch a film. We're gonna make some heaters and just chill. Because now the next day, I'm gonna, it's Sunday. I'm gonna head to the gym. I've just got ready. Um, I'll show you a quick outfit while we're here. Can you see this? Um, I am wearing, this is the tall effortless leggings from Honor Active. I also have the top everyday bra, which is not my favorite. It doesn't really fit me very well. Like the band fits, but the rest of it is just a little bit too big. Um, but I don't mind it for like under crop tops and things like that. And then I've just got the cold long sleeved crop and as always, my Nike peas. Um, but I'm just getting ready to go to the gym and I wanna eat some food. Calm's working. So he's just gone to work um, and I'm absolutely ravenous. So I'm gonna have a pre-workout snack. Of course, I'm not putting any makeup on his face today. Um, we're gonna have a makeup free Sunday and I have a long list of things to get through today. So I was gonna do a food shop, but Callum says that he'll do that tomorrow when he's off work. So I don't have to do that anymore. And we have like enough in for tea. I'm gonna wait for heaters tonight. Um, and all I could smash a Sunday dinner. Could smash this and dinner, but we're gonna do for heaters because that's kind of like all we've got left for tea today. Um, but I need to fake tan, I need to wash my hair, and I need to clean the house. And I also feel like I wanna go to TK Maxx and get a new candle because I have this coconut one, but it's nearly all gone. And I have one in the living room, which is like a vanilla almond. I'm like really, I really like fresh, not flowery, but fresh smells um and the one in the living room's nearly ran out as well so i'm thinking do i need to tk maxx and get a new candle after the gym i might see how hungry i am because i'm really really hungry then i don't want to go to tk maxx but we'll see 
Um, and I also need to edit this video as well and upload it for tomorrow. So there's a, a long list of things to do today. Um, but I'm gonna start with some food. I think I might just have, um, do you know what, what really bothers me? Is crumbs on top of the toaster. Like it really, really bothers me. Um, I think I might have jam on toast. Shock. <laughs> when do I ever have anything else? I think I might have some jam on toast. But I also want to show you, I got a new flavor pre-workout to try. So this one is the raspberry lemonade prolific, which I love the, the peach one. I love the peach one that I have, but I thought, you know what? Let's branch out and try something different. So I've got this my creatine was also really empty so i bought some more creatine um but i'm really excited to try this flavor so we'll make that we'll eat some food and we're going to go to the gym i'm not going to take you into the gym with me because i it's sunday it gets busy on a sunday and i just want to go in and get it done um and to be honest people get annoyed when i I, I imagine people get annoyed if I like, pop camera up everywhere. So I'm not going to film my workout today because it, it does get quite busy. Um, and I'm also, I was going to train legs, but I'm doing back because I've got a little bit of a twinge in my knee. I'm going to call it a twinge. It's nothing more, nothing less. Um, and I aggravate it on leg days, I think. And on Friday's leg day, I think I just... It just got aggravated a little bit too much, you know? Um, and it's only Sunday, so I feel like I should give it another day. It feels fine now, but that's because I haven't done a leg day. It also hurts if I do a leg day and walk up hills. And I live on a hill. So I'm trying to like aggravate it as, like, as little as possible. I'm going to have to walk the dog later um, as well on the to-do list. But obviously I'm going to be walking her up and down a hill. So I don't want to do a leg day, then go on a long hilly walk and just hurt my knee obviously um so i'm gonna do back today which is not as fun it's not a sunday vibe i don't like training back on a sunday but i'm gonna i'm just gonna do it like it's gonna be fine but i am absolutely ravenous let's eat She wants to say hello. Hi. You've already had some food though. I heard dad feed you, so you're not allowed any food. Okay guys, we are gonna do a taste test. Do you know what? From the second that I opened the pack, I knew that it was gonna taste delicious because I could smell it. Um, and it smells like, I mean, I've not tried it yet, it smells like a McDonald's strawberry lemonade. You know the ones that they do in the summer, the frozen ones? delicious and i feel like it's just gonna taste like that okay i hope i'm not gonna be disappointed now this is probably gonna knock the peach out of the arena it's good you know what the thing is with these they're not overpowering because i used abe by optimum nutrition for a long time and those flavors are overpowering like they're like Oh, especially like if I do a 6am workout they're like ugh these are not very subtle but nice like really nice honestly I think I found the pre-workout kiwi kiwi hello baby hi <laughs> Oh, you're so cute. Hey, Miss Me. Hi. <laughs> she goes so crazy. Look at that. Have you been asleep? That's the shake of you do when you've been asleep. I decided again to go to TK Maxx. Quite frankly, I don't know why I thought it was a good idea in the first place because I'm so hungry. Like, it's now, it's like 11. And I've not, oh, that little bit of hair annoys me so much. It sticks out all the time. It's like 11. Um, and I've not eaten, like, a breakfast yet. All I've had is a toast and I'm absolutely ravenous. I feel like I'm going to die hunger but i did nip to lidl and this is what i've been having recently let me show you what i've got so i 
I love mini eggs right and I love chocolate and I really love these mini egg Cadbury yogurts right but today I need protein and what I've been doing and what I've been doing I mean this is this is not a new thing I've been doing this for ages but I've just been to Lidl let me show you what I got I just went to Lidl um, and picked up the high protein puddings because there's a little right next to our gym because me and Calum are both a little bit low on protein today. So I've picked up a protein pudding each. We're going to do the food shop tomorrow because I got to clean the house today. Cleaning the house and do the food shop in one day is just too many chores for a Sunday. Um, so Callum has, oh, I picked these up from Lidl um, and I also got some Easter chocolate. So basically if I put these in here, it's literally the exact same as those mini egg yogurts, but 20 grams of protein. Um, and I also got these. I, it's like I can't walk into a shop without getting Easter chocolate. Easter chocolate is my absolute favourite. And I like these ones because they're like individually wrapped. And we're going to have these mini eggs in here. But I think now I'm going to attempt to make some dippy eggs. Callum had some for breakfast this morning. And I was thinking to myself like, ooh, yeah, I could do that. So I think I'm going to make some dippy eggs. And then the plan of action is literally just clean the house, get my life together, fake tan, wash my hair. It's a lot of jobs, you know? Washing my hair takes forever because it's quite, like, I don't have like loads of hair, but it's quite thick. So wash my hair, blow dry my hair, that's, that's the chore. Um, so I'm gonna wash my hair, throw some fake tan on, and edit this YouTube video after I've cleaned the house. Um, and it's such a nice sunny day as well. So I want to take Kiwi out while the sun is still shining. Um, so I think I'm going to leave this here. But thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you want me to do like a full wax Sunday reset video, let me know. I won't be doing that this weekend because Callum's at work and I don't like to do the food shop and the house clean all on my own. <laughs> because it's a lot, it's a lot, it takes a lot to clean this house, okay? Like it takes a long time um, to do like a deep clean of this house. So like, if I'm just here on my own, I will do like a quick, a quick clean. Like I'll do the hoovering, put the washing in, wipe down all the surfaces, hoover the sofa. But if um, Callum's here, we, we do like a deep clean and we like get the skirting boards, the windows. Um, I do all of these doors as well um so we kind of do like one little clean one big clean every other week um and then we just do like our towels and our bed and stuff as and when it needs to be done um so yeah it's a big job and i don't want to do that all on my own you know it's a lot um so i'm gonna leave that there but if you if you want to see a sunday reset like a whole reset vid let me know and i'll plan that in um but yeah i hope you enjoyed thank you so much for watching and i will see you next week